I feel privileged and honored to be among sports person from our neighborhood and brothers and sister from Shark countries. I welcome all, all of you to India, a country known for its culture of Atithi Devo Bhava. And to this beautiful city of Guwahati, known for its hospitality and love for sports. What moves me today is your electrifying presence, full of excitement and enthusiasm for this important international sports event on the banks of the mighty Brahmaputra. Guwahati has come a long way since the days of Prayag Jyotishpura in ancient India. It is now a modern and vibrant city and a hub of all economic activities in the northeastern region of India. Young people in Northeast and especially here in Assam do not miss any opportunity to witness a good football match. This theme has spread also far and wide that FIFA World Cup under 17 which will be hosted first time in India in 2017 has chosen Gohati as a prime venue for the event. This sports meet for me signifies a perfect blend of three T's, teamwork and togetherness and talent. Among us <coughs> is the best and most youthful talent from across South Asia. You are proud member of your team. It can be your team of the sport you play and a larger team of the nation you are representing. And at the same time, this meet also celebrates togetherness of all South Asian nations. Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Maldives, Nepal, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. No matter which country we are from, we all call South Asia our home. Sport has to be an essential part of an individual's life. A good game is both healthy and refreshing. All around development of the personality is incomplete without sports. Most importantly, sports bring with it the most vital sportsman spirit. Without sports, there cannot be any sportsman spirit. This sportsman spirit will not only help you on the field, but also in other aspects of your life. You will cherish whatever you learn on the sports field for your entire life. I always say 
जो खेले वो खिले द पर्सन हु प्लेस शाइंस द मैस्कट ऑफ दिस गेम्स तिखोर रिप्रेजेंट्स अ बेबी राइनो हु इज शार्प एंड इंटेलिजेंट इट कैप्चर द स्पिरिट ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन एंड यंग स्पोर्ट्स लवर्स The theme song of this game is "I Prithvi Ek Kirangan Kira Hol Shantir Pongan," sung by legendary late Dr. Bhupen Hazarika, a singer whose captivating voice left people spellbound. His song beautifully captures the spirit of South Asian games. the spirit of peace friendship and prosperity i have been today i have been told by sri sarbanand ji sonwal ji that the organizing committee for the games has brought water from the each of the eight shark countries and this water will be much to signify shared aspirations and cooperative spirit among the south nations dr bhupen hazarika's song we are in the same boat brother which you here are going to hear soon is all about shark nations we should join hands together as a family let us kindle the spirit of friendship to spread in south asian games my vision for south asia is the same as my vision for india sabka saath sabka vikas all south asian countries are partners in our journey towards development we the people living in shark countries comprise 21% of the world's population and contribute 9% to its economy as we gather today to cover the 12th south asian games for 23rd sporting events covering both men and women we bring sports person from all shark countries to india north east and to this great city and a spirit of friendship trust and understanding i am sure that as the games proceed this feeling of friendship trust and understanding will convert itself not only into sporting opportunity but also into business and tourism opportunities as well let this games become a springboard for bringing peace and prosperity in the region through business interaction and sporting activities let this be an opportunity for shark people to realize their potential sportsmanship is a philosophy of life harmonizing in a balanced whole the qualities of endurance will and mind the challenge for performance the joy of efforts the cheer of success the spirit of friendship and fair play in a sport arena speaks volumes about now how culture education ethics dignity and society get intertwined with each other during such sports events on the sports field we can forget what separates us and we can truly connect with each other in the spirit of sportsmanship and adventure we can celebrate 
our diversity and at the same time be united under common rules for our sports and the shared values of honesty and fair play. Let us play for peace. Let us play for prosperity. Let us play with full vigor and enthusiasm so that we remember these games even after they are over. The friendships you made from over these 12 days and the memories you take back will last you a lifetime. I am confident that you will cherish these bonds and become ambassadors for peace and friendship between our nations. While people play for medals and provide tough competition to each other, I urge the sports persons and visitors here to take time from their budget schedules to visit the places of tourism attraction. And wonderful wildlife sanctuaries nearby. Once again, I welcome our friends from SAR countries. Let the spirit of Gurukul prevail for two weeks in Guwahati as sports persons share with each other their best and take back great feeling with warmth and remarkable experience. Let the competition be in true sportsman spirit. May the best win. For some time now, uh, we've been attacking the government on being anti-poor, anti-farmer, anti-laborer, anti-worker. And I wanted to get a sense from the PCC presidents about what is being done with regards to the Narega, the right to food, the tribal